Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Product Data Your Way PTC Navigate View with the Application Development Kit webcast, presented by James Vachetto, Principal Technical Specialist for PLM at PTC. My name is Nicole Avedikian, and I'll be moderating today's webcast. I'll also be recording the webcast for replay purposes. If at any point you're experiencing technical difficulties, please click the hand button with the green arrow located on the tab to the left of your control panel. If your control panel is not open, you can click the orange button with the arrow. You can submit questions at any time during the webinar by typing your question and pressing send in the question box located on the bottom of the control panel. We will do the Q&A at the end of the webinar. If you'd like to view the presentation at full screen, please click the screen button located on the tab to the left of your control panel. And now I'd like to introduce you to our presenter, James. James, you can begin the presentation. Thank you, Nicole. Good morning, everyone. Again, my name is James Pichetto. I'm a technical specialist with PTC. I'm based in the Hartford, Connecticut area. Uh, looking at the list of attendees, I see a couple of my customers I interact with on a daily basis. So thank you for joining and everyone else who I haven't met. Um, let's go through the agenda of today's webcast. First, we're going to take, take a look and talk about the importance of making product information broadly available across an, an enterprise and some of the challenges that you may be facing to make this information available today. Then we're going to discuss how PTC Navigate solutions can help address these challenges and provide a quick overview of the out-of-the-box PTC Navigate view solution. Then I'll show you a custom app that was developed using the PTC Application Development Kit. And then I'll summarize the benefits of the solution. And then as Nicole mentioned, we'll open it up at the end of the webcast for Q&A. Your product information is the most valuable asset within your company, and it should not be kept a secret. Some studies show that less than a half a percent of the data that we ever create is analyzed and used. Furthermore, just a 10% increase in making that data accessible can result in $65 million of additional net income to a typical Fortune 1000 company. This quote is from the prominent data scientist Bernard Marr. There is significant value in making that data accessible, and that is really the intention of the Navigate View apps. It is critical to provide access to a variety of different roles across the organization, access to this product information. The challenges that we hear today with enterprise solutions is that those solutions that you have access to to get information tend to be used primarily by authors. Those who create the information tend to be the sole users of those systems. It is too complex for many of the roles across an organization to navigate, to find, and to ensure they get the right information. What we hear from many of you today is that those roles are requesting that information from the authors whether they are designers or engineers. Not only do they have to wait for that person who created that information to get, to get it back to them, losing critical cycle time in the process, but it is taking valuable time away from the designers and engineers to do their primary role, design and develop product. The PTC Navigate solution is designed to address this by providing simple role-based apps that provide just the type of information that is needed by a particular role and bringing it together from all different systems in a way that they can easily consume. So they don't have to wait for it and consume the time of authors of the information to get it. They can get it in just a way that they want it when they need it. PTC Navigate role-based apps are purpose-built for a role to complete a task. They can bring together just the information needed from all systems in a way that is easy to consume with no need for training. These apps can be used with your wind chill existing, pardon me, your existing wind chill environment with no need to upgrade. It's ready to go out of the box and provides simple tailoring capabilities to deliver the right apps to the right roles. To realize the business benefits of good decisions, and to avoid the repercussions of bad ones, it is essential that stakeholders throughout your organization can access the most up-to-date information when they need it. So PTC is developing a series of Navigate apps. The first app in the series is PTC Navigate View. This app focuses primarily on providing users with view access to product engineering information. 
We have more apps to come for engineering, manufacturing, in service in the future. PTC Navigate View includes a collection of eight viewing task-based apps from view document to view drawing, viewing part properties and part structure to viewing requirements. Instead of going through all of these apps in detail today, I invite you to watch a replay of Chris Berkowitz's recorded webcast by following the URL listed on this slide, www.ptc.com slash navigate slash easy access webcast to learn more about the specifics of what each of the Navigate View capabilities and apps provide. So today we're here to learn about PTC Navigate View App Development Kit. So what is the App Development Kit? It's an add-on capability to Navigate View that will allow you to leverage the full capabilities of the ThingWorks platform to develop custom apps and to extract data from multiple enterprise systems, including Windchill and other PTC products such as Integrity and Windchill Quality Solutions. You can either reuse widgets and services that are packaged up with Navigate View to create your mashups or create your own services that can query data that aren't yet available through the Navigate View apps, such as change information or where used information. You can also combine data from multiple systems and develop your own user experience. Let's take a look at a short demonstration that details an app developed using the application development kit. So in the demonstration, you're going to see an example of how you can extend the capabilities of PPC Navigate View by using the add-on application development kit. The application development kit will provide you the ability to leverage the ThingWorks platform to quickly build your own mashups that can query and present data from Windchill and other enterprise systems. And this should help your enterprise users gain access to product information and make better product decisions. Here we have augmented the out-of-the-box Navigate View landing page with an app that was developed using the application development kit. Selecting on the box will provide us access to this particular app. In this example, we've provided the user with the ability to search for a part number in the upper left-hand corner. Executing the search will return the part's structure as well as other useful information. This structure leverages widgets and services that are provided with the Windchill extension for ThingWorks, so you can quickly build this type of mashup. The structure can be expanded and collapsed, so you can drill into the different levels of the build material. As you select different parts within the structure, the applicable viewable is highlighted in the representation in the upper right-hand corner, as well as presenting some metadata of the selected part in the blue box under the viewable. This mashup was designed so that when I select on a line item in the bill of material, I can query other information regarding that selected part. In this case, I have a link to the Creo View representation. That, when selected, will launch Creo View so I can interrogate the model. This CAD document tab is also executing an info engine task to query the related CAD models that are associated to the selected part from the structure. Another example of this type of info engine query is the Related Documents tab. When a part is selected from the structure, the associated documents are displayed from Windchill. We've also included a link to download that document content directly from Windchill and save it through the browser. When the Changes tab is selected, an info engine query will run to report any changes on that selected part. In this case, there is a problem report, change request, and change notice that the part is in an affected object of. Selecting the view link for any of these change objects will bring you to the details page for that object details in the native Windchill UI. Prior to making any changes to release data, it's important to know what the impact on inventory may be to finalize the change. Included in this mashup is this tab that simulates querying data from an ERP system, information such as cost and inventory, 
can be included in the mashup so a user does not have to navigate multiple systems to be able to make a decision. It's all here in one mashup at their fingertips. Over on the left hand side, we have a recently executed searches bar that's available to the user so they can get back to a previously viewed part structure in related information. Again, the structure is expandable and collapsible, and you have all the the same tools at your disposal from the bottom tab. We've also designed into this mashup a shortcut to available end items in Windchill. This My Products tab executes an info engine task and lists all the end items that the user has access to. Selecting on any of these end items will also report the part structure. Now in this case, instead of using the available service that we previously demonstrated, you can also create your own services in tasks to report the structure and related object. This example consolidates the related objects into this one view of the structure. There are related documents, CAD models, and changes in line with each associated part. So that concludes our brief overview of the demonstration of Navigate View Application Development Kit. Let me move on and, and talk about some things similar, but contrast a little bit what you just saw in the demonstration. You can also use the application development kit to enhance what we provide out of the box with the PTC Navigate View apps. In this particular example, we are showing you how to enhance and augment the PTC Navigate View parts list app and add color coding to the lifecycle state column based on the state that a part is in. You could also add additional columns of information, such as the inventory available for a part that is querying data from ERP. You don't necessarily need to develop a custom app from scratch using the application development kit, but you can certainly do that as well. You can use the application development kit to create completely new apps, as I just mentioned, such as these various product dashboards to show deliverables, product maturity dashboards, product performance dashboards, et cetera, et cetera. You could also create quality heat maps to identify parts with high failure rates or to augment views with dynamically acquired information. There are many possibilities for the use of the application development kit to provide the right information to the right role at the right time. In summary, there are many benefits that can be realized by leveraging the PTC Navigate View Application Development Kit. You can provide your enterprise users the ability to make better informed and accurate decisions by consolidating information into one easy-to-consume app. You can drive higher product quality because the decisions they make will be based upon up-to-date information that may cross multiple systems. You can realize greater value out of your existing investments by driving more usage with better adoption and realize that value sooner by being able to deploy training-free apps in hours or days and not weeks or months. So at this time, I'd like to um, open up the floor for questions. And Nicole, if you want to just take a moment to brief. Yeah, absolutely. That. Thank you, James. Again, if anybody would like to ask James a question, you can use the question box located to the left side of your control panel. And I do see a few coming in already, so James, you can begin. Okay, great. Let me just uh, pull up my question monitor here, and we'll we'll get right to it. Um, will these slides be sent out so we can go to that link? Um, certainly, maybe um, maybe Nicole, you could just type the link in the chat window for for the audience so they have that link available. Yes, yeah, absolutely. May be available as well. Yes. Um, how do we learn to write all of the info engine routines needed? Is a class available? So, Stephen, I, I'll have to check on the availability of info engine training curriculum. Um, and I do have your email address, and I will certainly be happy to provide you with a response um, so you can learn how to actually take that approach to query additional information out of the Windchill environment. Um, let's see, does this question coming in from Ted, does this also work with other CAD modeling software? Um, 
and maybe Ted, you could expand a little bit on what your question is. But if you're managing any any CAD authoring tools in PPC Windchill solution, such as SolidWorks and or Creo and or NX and or Katia, um, we have the capability to manage all those authoring applications within Windchill. So if um, if you're interested in managing that content in Windchill and gaining access to it through Navigate View and the Application Development Kit, then the answer to that question would be uh, certainly a yes. Uh, if that's not quite what you were looking for, please ask another question and I'll get to it in a moment. Okay, um, let's see. Another question, can you use the Application Development Kit for smart connected products? So as many of you may or may not be aware of, our ThingWorks platform uh, is available to connect smart connected products and devices to render information and information off of those devices. Uh, the application development kit is only used to develop mashups on top of PTC Navigate View and is not available for a smart connected products. So if you're interested in um, or have a need to do that, then uh, please reach out to us and we can put you in touch with the appropriate individual in PTC to help address that question. Um, there's a question from Amir. Hello, can you show us the code and examples of what it takes to create a custom box? So Amir, today's focus wasn't to get into the, the details of how to create the mashups and, and the coding behind the scenes. Um, certainly if you want to set up a follow-up time with either myself or other technical specialists at PTC, you know, we'll be happy to take you through the details of, of uh, what those services look like, how you develop the queries to gain other information out of Windchill to educate you further on how this particular mashup was built. Um, another great question, what skills are required to use the application development kit? So the same skills that you would learn and apply to any of the ThingWorks um, utilities would be applicable for the application development kit. So you're actually using the ThingWorks platform and uh, it's helpful to know a little bit of JavaScript um, to write the services if you had to write your own. But the great thing about the application development kit is that we actually have pre-baked services that come along with um, the Windchill extension for ThingWorks and Navigate View so you can reuse a lot of those services and um, you know, without doing a lot of uh, coding. It should be codeless as possible. And in the example that I just demonstrated, um, it was a lot of reuse of out-of-the-box components until we got to the end where we were querying a structure using an InfoEngine task. So there was a little bit of InfoEngine knowledge, um, if you're familiar with InfoEngine, to get that other data out of Windchill and present it through a ThingWorks mashup. Well, we've got a lot of questions here. I don't know if I'm going to get to them all by uh, the bottom of the hour. Uh, will this work using Windchill APIs rather than Info Engine tasks? Um, a question from John. Um, I think, John, I'll have to double check, but I think Info Engine is the only service that we're providing at the moment um, to call from the services and ThingWorks to query the data in Windchill. I will have to double check on, on the specific APIs and get an answer back to you. Let's see, does the application development kit tool work with any ERP systems or just certain ones? So it, in theory, it should work with um, any ERP system, Bonnie. We'd have to look at the, you know, the, the integration layer and the capabilities of your ERP tools to go query that data. Um, so you know, that's in theory, and depending on the services that that ERP tool has to offer, you, know, you may be limited based on what tool you own and, and use today. But I have customers that I've talked to that have you know, the SAPs and the oracles of the world, and um, you know, they're developing these queries on their own. So outside of those, the, the big two, um, we'll have to look into it further for you. Uh, let's see, is Navigate Viewer out of the box with version 11, or is it a licensed product? Uh, from Sudakar. So Sudakar, that's a 
That's a great question, and I think there uh, with the introduction of PPC Navigate View, uh, with the release of, of Windchill 11, as I alluded to in my presentation, I said you could use PPC Navigate View with Windchill going back to version 10.1 and 40 and above. So there are some patches that you can deploy on those earlier versions that will allow you to connect PPC Navigate View to the to those Windchill environments. So you don't necessarily have to upgrade. Uh, wind chill to leverage and get value out of this particular solution. So it is a, uh, to the back half of your question, it is a licensed product. A PTC Navigate View is offered on a subscription license basis as well as the application development kit for authors and then for consumers of custom apps that you develop using the application development kit. So for Further pricing information and, and more details around the pricing and packaging. Um, we'll, I'll table any other questions that um, may come up with regards because that, that involves discussion with your account management team. And um, I don't want to pr provide inaccurate information based on your company's um, structure with PTC. Um, is PTC Navigate View considered a view and print license type, or how much does it cost? So again, it's without getting into the specifics of, of the cost, it is considered a, a view and print type of, of license. Uh, let's see, Mark asks, how would someone access the app? Is it through a URL, or would an app need to be installed locally? So Mark, the question, it's a great question and doesn't really highlight in the uh, demonstration that I showed you, but it's accessing a URL to get to the landing page that I demonstrated. Uh, so you have access to the out-of-the-box apps, and I've augmented that landing page with the custom app, which is just spawning uh, a different URL to point to that specific app. So you can put a shortcut on your desktop to um, uh, to get to that URL, or you could you know save it as a browser favorite in uh, whatever browser you choose to use. <clears throat> a lot of great questions. They keep coming fast and furious. Let's see which ones have I um, have I not covered yet. Let me just read this one before. Uh, what skills are required? I covered that one. Uh, how can developers learn and practice more on the app development kit for developing new mashups, et cetera? Is there a guideline online course? Um, there are, gosh, I should know this, a better version of this answer, but there are development kits available for uh, developers that are interested in using ThingWorks platform to develop mashups. So um, I can respond with an email to a link to the gentleman that asked that question um, with details on how you can learn more about the application development kit. Let's see, does it work on an iPhone or Android? So we do have plans at this point in the back half of this year to release a mobile app builder for the ThingWorks platform. So any mashup that you build, whether it's with the ThingWorks platform standalone or with the application development kit, you will be able to build a mobile application. Um, and I believe the plan is to include both Android and iPhone iOS support. Um, so that's coming in the very near near term. Um, Teddy has asked a question, does it create a visual hierarchy of assemblies and parts that would be parametric with the model? Um, So I'm assuming I showed two different representations of how you can navigate structure of a part with the example mashup that I showed. In the first example, that was using an out-of-the-box service to, to query the structure, and that was a part structure only um, that did show indented bill of material um, you know, for the parts that make up that structure. In the second example, um, I was using a different approach using an info engine task to query the structure and related objects in Windchill and presenting the data back 
in a, a grid format. So I have more control over what I want to see in that particular um, output format. So I'm not too sure if that addresses exactly what you're looking for. Um, you know, I should put my email address up here at the end of the, the session. And you can email me questions directly, too, if we, uh, we're going to run out of time in a couple minutes. Let me see if I can get through a couple more questions. Um, if, forgive me if I don't get to your question. I'll go through the list. We have them all logged, and, and I'll respond directly to you individually um, if I can't get to your question. What does this do for me that I couldn't do directly with Thingwork? Jeff Burke. So that's a, that's a great question, Jeff. Um, so if you already own the ThingWorks platform, you know you have access to all all the tools that the application development kit provides. Um, if you don't own the ThingWorks platform and you have Navigate View and you're looking to augment data from ex other systems, the application development kit is um, a more cost-effective option if you don't own the ThingWorks platform um, for both authors and consumers. So uh, I guess the answer to your, your specific question is it, it's not offering anything above and beyond what you can already do with the ThingWorks platform. OK, I think uh, let's see if I can find one or two others, and then we'll, we'll wrap up. I'll throw my email address up on the slide in a moment. Um, James, I just messaged everyone with your email address. So you can find it oh. in the chat box. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so another question, is there an upper limit to the number of enterprise systems that can be accessed to create a mashup? Uh, Mark, there's no upper limit that I'm aware of. Um, you, know, you could connect to multiple systems. I've seen one customer example where they have connected to um, you know, internal homegrown systems, their Microsoft Link environment, um, you know, tech support environments. Uh, they had at least five to eight different applications they connected to. So uh, not to my knowledge, but I can certainly get you a, a number for sure. Um, and a question from Darren, which I think it's around the level of effort to create that example. So the example, um, you know, I personally built that example, so I can speak to the level of effort. And it was about a, between writing the specific info engine tasks and um, you know, reusing some of the uh, services that were already available with the Windchill extension for ThingWorks. It, it took me, and I, I'm not considering myself an expert at this point yet, but it took me about a day and a half from start to finish to you know, develop the UI, to develop the queries, to get the data that I was looking for, you know, to develop the interactive nature between selecting on, on something from the structure and having it run specific queries. Um, so again, it's, it's meant to be a, a rapid application development platform. Uh, so you can you know, turn around these apps, either role-based and specific for a group of users. And then once you have something to build upon, it, it should take you less time in the future. So as I mentioned again earlier, Dan, there is a, a you know, subset of knowledge that you know, to be able to do what I presented in the demonstration, you know, learning a little bit of info engine which I can certainly help customers with and a variety of technical specials that PTC can help with. And then anything you learn from training out of the ThingWorks platform by itself is reusable because we use the same mechanisms to develop the services and inquiries to, uh, to get the data out of both Windchill and other enterprise systems. So I think with that, um, as I mentioned, we have, I have all the questions logged. If I didn't answer your question, I will respond to you personally, and um, I'll turn it back over to Nicole to wrap things up. Thank you, James. And as I indicated earlier, the session was recorded and will be emailed out to all registrants within the week. And we'd like to thank our audience for participating in today's session. We hope that you found today's webinar valuable and will return for future webinars. Thank you very much.